I've got an upcoming project where I need to use my domino, but I need and I want to use my my uh, my plate here, my dama plate, but um, it's only for three quarter and half, and I want a ha I want a quarter inch offset uh, from three quarter inch pieces. So uh, what I need to do is build a spacer plate to fit between this, this, uh, actually it's going to go this way. When I put it on this way with the three quarter inch side, I need to build it out three quarters of an, or a quarter of an inch to give me that offset I want. Um, so I had some screws here that are the uh, correct metric thread for the um, domino, but the, the thing about this plate is that it is also threaded. So you, there'd be no way to tighten this up unless uh, these, this edge was smooth like these here. You can see the, the non-threaded area. So I, I was all prepared to take these and, and use uh, these screws that I had and remove the threads about a quarter of an inch from the, from the head there. When I realized that the domino comes with this accessory plate here that has a, uh, a nice knob, you know, so it'd be toolless. And I'm just going to modify this one here. I'm going to take and remove the threads there so that when it gets past that uh, threaded portion there, and you'll see how much I have to remove is that amount right there, about a quarter of an inch. So all I'm going to do is tape this off and use a hand file and smooth that area out. There you go, that's the portion I want to remove. I'm going to try this uh, triangular file. I can hold it about the right width there and see if this will remove material a little faster. Let's try that one. Now you can see when I thread it in, it gets past that certain point, and now it'll spin. And that's what I want. So still useful in that other uh, Festool jig, you know, but now it's going to be useful for what I want it to do in this Dama plate. So now you see the extra length that I'm going to get with this one over the one that comes with the Dama plate. Okay, got my part made. Um, exact width. Just a little bit long. Well, no, I guess not. If I put it down. Yeah. So it's it matches up very, very nicely. Um, so I'm just going to hold that in position and take my transfer punch and mark out my two holes here. Okay, so I'll drill those slightly oversized. And then my initial uh, thought was to uh, make this cutout, but that would be a bad idea. What I need to do is uh, get a line scribed dead center here so that it matches the line on my domino here so that when I go to uh, make those cuts, they'll line up exactly where I want them. Perfect fit. Uh, one problem. Well, here. Just extends out past the uh, face of the domino. So I've got to trim this back that much.
Well, I think they were shooting for four inches on this, but it's it's a little shy of that. It's three point three point nine eight. So I set my caliper to one point nine nine, half half the distance here, and then uh, I tried it on the back side from marking it from both sides, and it's it's pretty much right on the money. So I'm going to go to my front side here, scribe a line. And that will be my center line. Got to go on this side. This time I won't extend it. I'll put my knife in there and then extend it. Much better. There we go, that's better. It looks really good to me. Alright, let's imagine this is my uh, leg and this is my uh, my rail that I want to attach to it a quarter of an inch offset in that direction. If I take my square here let's make a little center mark on this first eyeball it okay right there So there's my piece. I want that down here a quarter of an inch. Got to get things hooked up. All right, this looks really good. I've got a nice mark there. I can line up with my pencil mark on my piece. So I've got my spacer block in here, which is going to drop it down a quarter. Okay, I got my pencil line there, lining it up with my mark on my spacer block, which looks really good. Uh, should be good to go. Depth of cut. Yeah, let's go a little deeper here. Okay, I'll change that out. Yeah, 
That's the other thing I'm going to like this set up for is doing pieces like this. You know, naturally it's going to be longer so I could just clamp it out here. But uh, that's going to be just great. Let me get a domino in here. Let's measure that. That's pretty good. Thanks for watching.